Good day, YouTube. Hope everything finds you working wonderful today. You're back with the Fat Guys Barbecue. Today, a special treat. Last week, Jacob and I was at work. I've told you many times that we like to cook on Sunday. I bounced something off of him. We ended up doing this in the middle of the week as a middle of the week cook. Turned out absolutely awesome. We had some guests in our building who may actually comment in this video. For already dispatched people that we in Carter Probably County, dispatched. this is a shout out to you. We are shouting out to you. We had a new protocol set into place and we fed them this week. And we had a great time with them. Thank you for coming up showing us the proper way. Smoked chicken and dumplings. Yep, you heard that right. Smoked chicken. I know a lot of you just tried chicken and dumplings and like chicken and dumplings. We're going to smoke the chicken first, and then we're going to add it to the broth, and then we're going to add some cream of chicken, and then we're going to add some cream of celery, celery and onions, and then we're going to have smoked cream, add our dumplings, and we'll have chicken and dumplings smoked. You might think, whoa, I've never heard of that. Give it a try. Our ingredients, you'll see here, two ingredients that's not in right now is our dumpling mix. However, we'll get that is a whole chicken. We're going to rub it down again with the, the AP rub from Killer Hogs. I told you and told you, I'm a Killer Hogs fan. I love this Killer Hogs. I might rub it down. I had, this past week, I done a honey chipotle with Keith, Heath Riles. It was good. However, you lose some of that flavor off the skin due to the fact you pull the skin and don't get the skin soggy. You work hard to crisp it up. You know, we're not really worried about the skin on this one. We're going to just pull it off. Pretty much toss it. Celery, onions, cream of celery, cream of chicken. We got a garlic that's been roasted on the egg. We'll roast it some more to get a little softer. Better than bouillon chicken stock. Like I said, the, the rub and our whole chicken to star. You'll see us bring a pot out. The pot will not actually go in the smoker. It'll go on my side burner that I've got. But let's get to cutting. Get this chicken ready. How about that, Jacob? All right. This was a idea that I had off the top of my head. And my buddy Jacob here had the idea about the same time I did. And I looked at him and said, that's exactly where I'm going. If you'll give me just a second, Jacob. And we laughed. And we tried it. Turned out dad gum good. Good ain't the word in my opinion. It turned out excellent. I'm trying not to make a big gigantic mess, but I'm afraid it's going to happen. Jacob, I'm going to leave this to you. We're going to make sure that we don't have any internal parts in our chicken. If we do, make sure you get it out. What we're gonna do is just take it, rub it down here with our AP rub, get some salt, pepper, garlic involved. Get it rubbed down. I'm gonna pull the skin back a little bit right here. Right here's some extra skin that we won't need. Go ahead and lob it off. Lob the back of your tail off back here if you can. You don't need it, you ain't gonna use it. But if you can get down in there and behind this skin. with a hand or a finger. Get you, some, get you some rub down in there. We got the little man with us today. He's watching. Maybe one day he'll grow up and say, 
I saw my dad do this trick and it was good. Continued out. There's another piece of skin. Just lob it off. We've got the egg already fired up. Got the egg at two between two fifty three hundred. Will is this a pig or a bird? That's a bird. <laughs> yep. See, he's learning. It's a bird. Only it's five. But what we're gonna do is put it in the egg for. It's probably gonna roughly take two hours. It's a bird. And here we go. You can come over here and see Jacob. We've already got it at two hundred and fifty degrees. You see that on the camera? So here we go. Watch out, Raylan. We don't want to burn you. It's going to get hot. We've done had one cook this morning. Just pick your egg and your bird up. Bring it over here. We're going to let it run just like that right there for a couple hours. We'll come back and I've told you before we've checked, cooked chicken on the rotisserie. You've done. Got to make sure in the breast meat, 165. In your thighs and your legs, 175 to 185. They're still going to be juicy. Won't dry it out. Make sure you get it to that temperature. I do not want anybody to get sick. You see me handling with gloves. That's a precautionary for you, my family. This is going to feed my family. I want you all to be safe also. Handle with a set of gloves. It won't hurt. I know you're saying, I'm just feeding my family. You still can make your family sick. So use precautions. Keep it keep it clean. Sterilize your cabinet tops. I'm going to come over with Clorox wipes off the camera. You won't see that, but I will clean the surface because that's the way I do things. Keep it clean. Guys, we'll be back in a couple hours with the chicken. We'll bring you back then. Bye-bye. Okay, YouTube, we're back. We got our chicken smoking. Okay. We're going to take it. It's been 90 minutes. We're going to see what it looks like. Take a quick temperature. Once again, the instant read thermometers are our friends. To make sure we're not poisoning nobody. Oh. We got a little bit longer for you two. Our breasts running 133, 134. Well, it just dropped 127. Let's look at our thighs. Thighs reading 151. Look at that skin though. The skin's looking crispy. Let's take these out. This is going to be soft. We'll come back in another 30 and 45 minutes, see what it looks like. We'll see you in a minute with YouTube. All right, YouTube, we're back with our chicken. I believe it's done this time. We've looked at it. Let's see what it looks like. Hey, thank you, Jacob. Looks nice and crispy. Here's our thermometer. Let's stick it in. One fifty four. Time it does its over carry over temperature a little bit, we'll be fine. Let's see what we got down here in the thigh. One eighty two, one eighty three. I believe we'll call that done. I believe we will. So we'll set this over here. Now oh, these tongs ain't thick enough, Jacob. You hold this. I got you. Put the juices right on it. What we're doing, you two, we're gonna wrap this up, cover it up, let it set a few minutes, temperature cool down, and then we'll come back, pull it, and we'll show you the rest of the chicken and dumplings. Thanks. All right, YouTube, we're back, and what we're doing is getting the water up to temperature. We're gonna put our better than bouillon. Raylan wants to help our assistant. He's gonna pour the rest of this in there, and then we'll see what it looks like. Be easy with it, Raylan. 
So we got 192 ounces of yeah, water. 192 oh. ounces. Let me, Daddy, let me. Okay, hold on just a second, buddy. I want to do that. Hey, Charlie's back. Mix that up in there. We're getting about four tablespoons. Even dog would try to cook. Of butter than bouillon. Makes a good rich. Hey, I did it, Daddy. Good job. I can keep Do it. Do one more. Fill it up real good. And if you don't teach them, they're going to be easy. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. And you got burnt. A little bit. You, I'll you hold gotta, it for okay. you. If you don't teach them young, they'll never learn and how they're going to fend when they get older. But we'll stir this in, give it a minute, and we'll come back and we'll add the... A lot of people think, what are you going to put in it? We're going to put the chicken bouillon, give us our broth. We'll put one can of cream of chicken, one can of no, he did cream of mushroom, and then we'll put garlic, onions, I need and, help. and celery. Uh -huh. And one stick of butter. We'll go ahead and put the butter but in I'm now. I'm helping cook. Hey, looky, I washed my hands last night. It gives it a, but that stuff is a richer flavor. So we'll That's come back once we get here. everything here. I'm helping my dad out. Hey, can I do that? Can I do what you're doing? We're good right now, so we'll be back in a little bit. You too. All right, we've got our butter melted in our broth, and it's come up to temperature. What we're going to do now. We're gonna, I just dumped that everywhere. We're going to put our cream of chicken and our cream of celery in here. What this does, guys, it gives it some aromatics and thickens it up, makes it creamy. Some people think Jacob was one of the one of the ones that thought, "What are you doing, Jacob?" I was not a believer in Jasper's Pauline uh, butter recipe, but uh, after trying it at work the other day, I'm all for it. What we're gonna do is also something else. A lot of people don't do. bay leaves drop a couple bay leaves in it right now we're gonna put in our smoked garlic or broccoli get them a cooking and our onions All we've done is mince them up, cut them up real close. You'll find these onions to mince in and you won't even know they're there. So we'll go from there. We're going to bring this up to boil and then we're going to cut it back and simmer it. And then Jacob's going to make the dumplings because Jacob's a dumpling maker. We'll go back in a few minutes. All right, YouTube, we're back with our smoked chicken and dumplings. I took the liberty of pulling the chicken off the bone, you can see. Jacob will focus in there. And I've just took the chicken after it rested. It rested for about 30 minutes or so in a aluminum foil. And then I pulled it off, all the bones off. And what we're going to do, we're going to put the chicken down in the broth here. Let that cook up. While that's cooking up, Jacob's gonna make us our dumplings. We'll show you that in a little bit. We're gonna let that come to temperature. And that's it. How's the top of my head look? You're good. All right, guys, we're gonna make the dumplings. Super easy recipe. All you need is your Bisquick. Follow the biscuit directions on the side and then we modify it at the end. So we're gonna do two helpings. So it originally calls for two and a quarter cup of Bisquick. We're gonna do four and a half. We have a two cup measuring cup. So 
So there's two. There's four. Now we just need a half a cup. There's our half. Now it originally calls for two thirds cup milk. So we're gonna do, yeah, a cup and a half. Thank you, Jasper. Now we're not gonna pour that in straight away. We've got some garlic here. We're gonna mash it up into a paste. This is smoked garlic that we smoked earlier today. Kind of feather it out. You don't want big old globs. Give that a mix. Actually, I'm gonna use a fork. Give that a little bit of a blend. Separate any clumps in your bisquick. Look at the sounds like Highlands wanted to find over in this episode again. Yep. Now you're gonna add your milk. Mix really well. So whenever you finish Bisquick's recipe on their box, everything's really sticky. See how sticky that is? We don't want that. We want to add a little extra. It's still a little too sticky. There you go. Now you just kind of form it to a ball and let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes while the rest of your your sauce is getting up to the temperature you need it to be, or your soup, I guess you'd say. And that's it for your dumplings at this point. All right, YouTube, you see us doing, setting down, like while I'm setting down, I don't normally like to sit down and cook, but this is a lot lower and I don't want to burn ourselves. This, this water, you'll see, this broth is really hot. It's boiling hot. You can see we've got our chicken in there. Watch out, Raylan. I'm actually going to turn it down a little bit more. We got our dumplings made here. Well, me and Jacob's rolled dumplings. So all we're going to do... When you do your dumplings, kind of make them the same consistent size. Uh, we went ahead and pre-rolled them so they'll, they should come out pretty much the same size. This way they cook evenly and all cook at the same time. Then we're gonna drop it just in the water. And I don't want to burn myself. I know Jacob don't want to burn behind the camera. Go ahead. All right, YouTube, this is our last dumpling. You can see there a lot of them's already posted up, and when they start sinking, they'll come down a little bit. Good fluffy dumplings. Good fluffy dumplings. Put the lid back on them. We're gonna let them ride for a few minutes. And we'll come back once they're done. 
I'll have a show. All right, you two. We've come to the conclusion. Chicken and dumplings is cooked basically all day. Let's start with what we've done. We cooked our chicken and the egg. About 250, 300. We smoked that chicken. Two, and a, two hours, 15 minutes. Pulled it off. We let it rest for about 30 minutes. We started our broth. We put some onions, some celery, cream of chicken, cream of celery. We brought it to a bowl. Some smoked garlic, don't forget smoked garlic. Done it also. Some bay leaves, brought it to a bowl. Pulled our chicken off the bone. Put our chicken in it. Bring it back to the bowl. We made our dumplings with Bisquick. We made our dumplings, put them in the pot. Now, the long time awaited, the dumplings. And here we go. One, two, and this thing's really hot, so be careful, get three. Look at those, Jacob. What do you think? Those look amazing, they look like little clouds. So here we go. Let's get Jacob a couple done ones. Actually, let's check, oh yeah. Well, oh yeah, some. those are. Yeah. Ooh. I don't think they look dumplings to me. Yeah. Watch out, Raylan. Watch out, Raylan. I'm fine with the mm -hmm. dumplings. <laughs> like I'm sat back down here. This pot's awful low, guys. Now remember to watch out for your bay leaves that yeah, are floating in there. Bay leaves. Bay and it hot heats up real quick. There you go, Jacob. Let's stick this over here for now, let it cool a bit. Oh. All right, you two. Here's Jacob and his chicken and dumplings. Look at that. That looks right. pretty good. Let's let's try a little bite of this chicken out first. It's hot, hot. It, it just, is hot, man. It's got a good smoke flavor to it this time. And then the dumplings, those are my favorite. Look at those fluffy dumplings. Yeah, Jasper, we got something going on here. Guys, remember to like, subscribe, share. Comment. Comment what you want us to do next. We'll see you next time on Fat, Fat Guys, Guys Barbecue. Barbecue.